OK, we turn now to the possibility of an over the counter birth control pill. An FDA advisory panel is set to meet today on whether to recommend allowing one specific brand to be sold without a prescription. And Stephanie Ramos is here with more on that. Good morning, Stephanie. Hey there, Rebecca. Good morning. The Food and Drug Administration advisors will vote today on whether to recommend Opal, an oral contraceptive, be available without a prescription. This decision could make birth control more accessible to women nationwide and prevent unwanted pregnancy. Pregnancies. Now, the issue taking on increased urgency with some since the Supreme Court rolled back Roe versus Wade a year ago. But the FDA has two major concerns about the accessibility of an over the counter birth control medication. It has questions about whether consumers could use the drug correctly without consulting with a doctor about the risks and benefits. It says it is especially concerned about younger girls using the drug properly and watching for warning signs. Now, Rebecca, the agency is also weighing if consumers will avoid using the product if it poses a risk to them. Important step. And what happens then, Stephanie, after today's vote? Well, this vote is non-binding. The FDA will want to hear the panel's reasoning before making its final decision, which could take several weeks. The company behind Opil says if all goes well, the product could be on shelves this summer. But we want to make this clear. This eventual decision applies only to this one medication and not all birth control pills. All right, Stephanie Ramos, thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.